Hi, I'm Matt Cardle, and the record that changed my life was Rage Against the Machine, Evil Empire. The first time I came into contact with, with the album was, um, I stole it from a friend. Because I had Rage Against the Machine, the first album, um, and I had that on CD. And uh, it, was, it was one of those things, it was one of the first times, apart from Nirvana, with In Neutro after, after Nevermind, like, that was the first time I'd heard a band's second album that had been almost on par, if not even that improved. This album uh, takes me back to um, a, a real, real kind of sunny time growing up in the countryside. Um, I lived in a tiny little village called Little Maplestead and one mile down the road was Great Maplestead and we had we were two groups of friends from each village and we'd meet in the middle and, and get up to no good and spend most of our time in bushes and woods and stuff but like this was playing you know this is playing on the way down there it was playing while we were down there. I got this from a, a fan um, you know I've got some incredible fans very generous people and they've uh, they know how I feel about Rage Against the Machine and uh, you know and this this album so they they've been giving I've got so many um, vinyls tapes CDs I think I've almost got the entire collection of, of rage I'm gonna do a shrine to it once they're all there and I've got them all put them in a huge frame and stick them on my on my wall somewhere this album got stuck in my dad's tape player and he's not a rage fan funnily enough after being you know obsessed with Elton John and all that kind of stuff he kind of carried on listening to that I progressed onto onto rage but um, I, he, I had an old Mazda 323 estate and this album just got stuck in the tape player. You could rewind it, fast forward it, but you couldn't turn it over or get it out. So we, that was just a soundtrack to that car as well. It was amazing, bless him. Sorry, Dad. A 14-year-old me, I didn't really, I didn't really understand it at the time. I felt it more than anything else. Um, I knew, I knew he was angry. You know, uh, like in all of their songs, you can hear how much he means what he says, and even more so with this album, the way they recorded it, just. In the in the in the rehearsal room because they tried to, to re recreate it in the studio and they weren't getting the energy in there that they needed so um, I don't know if it was Brendan's idea or one of the bands to just go do you know what let's go back to the rehearsal space and just do it in there I mean that's just such it's one of the coolest moves for a band to be like we're not going to use a studio we're going to go mic up our rehearsal and do it and then they printed it like that it's just incredible lyrically I came to understand it the, the older I got. Um, but I guess, I, I mean, I'd happily say Zach woke me up to that kind of stuff and to, to, to thinking against the grain, I guess, and to not take um, what we're told is the truth, because 90% of it is, is not the truth, you know, that we hear about lots of things that are going on in the world. And, you know, at an early age, rage kind of woke me up to the, to the, to the fact that, it, you know, we're being lied to a lot. What, changed my life about this record I think most importantly was kind of it kind of um, like I said earlier it, it woke me up a little bit uh, as, as, a, as a I was sort of 13 14 and you know this was this was also pulling me into a scene of people that were into things that I was into as well um, and it, it, it put me in a whole different you know, trajectory of my life musically because I was kind of floating around before and, you know, it, this went with my skateboard, it went with my friends, it went with smoking this and that one, the other. And it, um, but on a, on, a, on a deeper level, I think it was the, uh, just, just the, you know, after f figuring out what Zach was so you know, rageful about, and, you know, and then I've got some seriously entrenched views that, are, you know, along the same kind of ilk as that. Not necessarily about the, exactly the same thing, but more or less, it's you know, it's it's about it's about the same regime. But um, I think that's what really changed my life about this album. Like, you know, from music to a song, not to just be love, but to actually wake me up a little bit, uh, pique my consciousness about the way things are in real life and just take another look. Balls on Parade, you know, it's on the back of my hand. It's it's um it's a song that in it's so I mean I'm I'm scared of flying and one of the things it started off was 
um, many, many years ago, I'd listen to Bulls on Parade as I'm taking off, and that is like an OCD. It's every single flight I go anywhere, Bulls on Parade is on as loud as it can be in my earphones, even before, you know, the times when you weren't allowed to listen to music taking off. I'd put flight mode on, but I'm having it on. Do you know what I mean? So, but then it, it kind of progressed into to more of a, a real... Uh, a kind of leaning post for me, if, I, if ever I was having a weak moment in any way, shape or form, Bulls on Parade, would just I'd stick it on and that's kind of like, just the power and the energy of the song would really kind of support me in, 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 in times of kind of need and it sounds a bit overblown but it's true, you know, people do certain things like if you run for the drink, some people do that, I mean I just run for Bulls on Parade and I'll stick there in the studio and I'll put it on and it means so much to me that yeah, you know, it's, it became part of my part of my sleeve. People of the Sun is one of my favourite tracks on the album, um, you know, it's, again, it's the it's the genius of Tom Morello as well, uh, the way he, he's, he, what he's doing with, with his guitar throughout the entirety of Rage Against Machines music, um, just turning it into, he's almost a DJ with it, you know, the way he's scratching it, it's just, it's just, I'd never heard guitar used that way, I mean, I guess, I was, I, Jimi Hendrix was kind of not lost on me because I, I understand and appreciate it, but for guitarists, I mean, I think Tom hit me the way that Jimi hit a lot of other people, a lot of other guitarists. I was just like, I'd never heard guitar being played like that or just or used like that. more energy packed inside it than anything I've ever put in any ghetto blaster, CD player, anything. And it, it will move you, it can't not move the listener. You know, the way, I don't know, maybe Adele can move someone in an emotional way, I think. Rage Against Machine can move you um, just in, I don't know, in every sense. I can't, you know, I talk about it and I start getting excited, you know what I mean? As soon as it goes on, it, it will. this will move you, it cannot not. If you don't, if it doesn't move you, you're not human. There's a lot in this kid's face that is like, it, you've got that, on the one side, you've almost got this kind of, um, not that he was in the, you know, because he was one of the presidents that just was not that way inclined, but you know, you've got that kind of John F. Kennedy, all American boy, but then this look of pure evil in in his eyes, you know, that you can't deny. He's he's up to no good. Like it's um, yeah, there's something, and I just think yeah, it's a it, it's a brilliant, and you know, also the shot of the in, the inside where they're in the rehearsal room and Zach's literally on tiptoes. I don't know if they've got that shot in here. Yeah, there we go. Zach literally on his tiptoes. I mean, you can see the energy and the fact that the, the whole album was just recorded there like that all in each other's faces just to get that energy and emotion across I just think that again that struck me hard but I think a lot of people are surprised when they find out that that you know Rage is my favorite band in it and I hold it them so close to my heart and um, because it's it is the, the it's such so, a so stark contrast between the music I make and the music that I, I I love and listen to. I remember going to the Kerrang Awards. I mean, it was a funky move by Psycho when I first won the show. They sent me to the Kerrang Awards, and like one of the funniest things that like, we were going, the cars were lining up. This like black clad either side of the road going in and liking cricket where they go hey, when he bowls they were doing that with all the cars with the people that got out it's like jonathan davies was in front of me corey taylor was in front of me and it was like Ooh, ah. and i'm like oh my god what is gonna happen when i get out and they were like Ooh, and i could hear it it was like, ah, yeah. no hate no just confusion just utter confusion and like i i walked up the um I walked up the, the red carpet and there's interviews all along the way and he's and they were like so why are you here and I'm just like and it was quite aggressive and he wanted to trip me up and I'm like well look you know that I grew up on metal slipknot vision of disorder corn like rage against the machine and my favorite man in the whole world he's like all right go on let's go give us a rage lyric so I gave him half a verse and people the sun he was like okay fine I was like do you know what I mean